Hi friends, happy Tuesday. Today we are in dolphin group. So I'm gonna match my icon right here. Now we're all ready to get started. Um, since this week is our spooky Halloween theme, I figured it'd be really fun for you guys to help me build this candy corn puzzle. And we're gonna be talking about different emotions and feelings. And I'm really excited for you guys to be doing this with me. So I'm gonna flip over my camera. So you guys can still see me in the corner, but now you can see my different puzzle pieces. So we are gonna be building, we're gonna be using different parts to build candy corns. And if that's a little confusing, you'll see what I mean in just a moment. So I have four different pumpkin faces. Let's see which one we wanna start with first. Should we do the one that it looks like, oh, he looks shocked. Should we do this one that's frowning? This one that's smiling, and this one that has a really big smile. Let's see. Hmm. I want to do, let's start with the one with the really big smile. I'll move these ones out of the way. All right, let's start with this one. I have a few different words, and I want you to help me decide which one matches this feeling the best. Looking at this pumpkin, do you think he's surprised? Maybe. Do you think he's sad? Mm, doesn't look too sad. Do you think he's relaxed? Possibly. Do you think he's happy? I think he looks really, really happy. Parents, um, when you're doing this activity, these do look pretty similar. And if your child ends up saying this one is happy and this one's relaxed, it's okay because being relaxed makes me feel happy also. All right, but I'm gonna say he's happy. So we'll move these ones. I'm gonna put it right under him, you see? Awesome, now we just need the bottom part. And I have some statements and I want you to help me decide which one is the happy statement. And I'll read them to you. All right, this one says, I can't believe it. This one says, that hurt my feelings. This one says, I have a nice calm body. This one says, I'm having a great Day. Hmm. So if he's smiling really big and if he's happy, which one do you think makes the most sense? You're right. I'm having a great day. When I'm having a really great day, that makes me really happy. So I'm going to put it underneath. And look, we have our first candy corn. Nice job. We're all done with that one. We have three more that we can do. All right, which one should we do next? Hmm. Let's do this one. Oh. Have him here. You think Mr. Pumpkin is sad? Do you think he's relaxed? Or do you think He's surprised. <gasps> Does it look very sad? So I don't think so. Relaxed? I don't know. I'm going to say you're right. He's surprised. <laughs> what does your face look like when you're surprised? Mine's like, <gasps> that's like his. <laughs> nice job. Also, parents, if your kiddo is having um, kind of a hard time identifying um, the faces and the emotions, we um, hopefully you guys still have this um, from last week's activity. Um, and I did it so the faces were pretty similar. So this could also be um, a helpful tool for your kiddo. All right, let's figure out which statement is a surprised one. That hurt my feelings. I have a nice calm body or 
I can't believe it. Let's see, which one do you think? You're right, I can't believe it. Sometimes when I'm really surprised, I say, oh my goodness, or I can't believe it. Oh, and look at that, friends. We just built our second candy corn. His face is surprised. And he says, I can't believe it. Good job. We have two more. Let's see. Let's do, do you want to do the one that's frowning or the one that's smiling? Hmm. Let's do, let's do the, the frowning one. Let's see what his emotion is. Do you think Mr. Pumpkin here is relaxed or do you think he's sad? You're right. He's sad. Sometimes when we're sad, we make frowny faces too. All right, nice job. All right, let's figure out what the bottom part is. This one says, I have a nice calm body. Or do you think that hurt my feelings? Hmm. You're right, that hurt my feelings. Sometimes when our feelings get hurt, that makes us really sad, but we can use our words to let um, that person know, and then hopefully we can feel better. And look, we just did our third one. Nice job, guys. All right, you ready for the last one? Here is the last Mr. Pumpkin. I have one more feeling left. Do you remember what it is? You're right, he is relaxed. He is calm and relaxed. Do you remember what our last statement was? Nice job. This one says, I have a nice calm body. I have a nice calm body. That makes me smile. Like, hmm. <laughs> nice job, friends. Our activity is all done. And you guys did an amazing job identifying those different emotions. And um, hopefully you guys have fun doing this at home. And I'll see you next time. Bye.